Good morning, Long Cane Middle School. It's a fine day in Cougar Country. Please join me in honoring the greatest country in the world by standing for our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for a moment of quiet reflection. Thank you very much for some announcements on this fine day. Well, good morning, everybody. Hope everybody had a great day. I know we uh, hope everybody survived Snow Jam 2017. The snow started coming down on Friday and freaked all the sixth graders out in the lunchroom. And, you know, by the time we were leaving, it was coming down pretty good. And I bet most everybody got a really good dust in the snow Friday night. Um, went outside, there's a couple of inches of snow. That was kind of fun to see. Everything looked pretty. The... The limbs look pretty outside the trees, and we didn't have so much snow that it made trees fall on power lines and such, so it wasn't bad. I know north of us, up around Atlanta area, and even above them, they had quite a bit of snow. So uh, hopefully that's it for the year, and uh, we can move on. I uh, want to congratulate everybody who were part of the Cougar Classic Wrestling Tournament on Mon uh, Saturday. This was our 11th annual Cougar Classic, and... Uh, Long Cane won the event. There were five schools here. We had Brookstone. We had uh, St. Anne's, of, that's the lower school of Pacelli. Had Callaway, Garden Newman, and us. And the top three finishers, Callaway had 134 points. Garden Newman had 177. And Long Cane won the event with 198 points. So congratulations to everybody who participated. Uh, thanks to Coach Meadows who worked really hard getting it all set up and the other coaches. Uh, if you were a young man and you had a and you were a medalist, congratulations! You've got a pin. That's even more special. It's a really good day. Yesterday was a good day too. Uh, over at Western Heights Baptist Church, we had the football and goal team banquet. Uh, thanks quite to Miss Serenity Graham for just doing so much work, making it such an awesome event for everybody involved. And thanks to the coaches and everyone else who made it such a success. The food was just delicious. And it was cool to see everybody rewarded for good things that they have done and saw those good-looking hoodies in the building today. We do have Cougar basketball uh, this week. We're playing here tomorrow, Long Cane versus Opelika. Yeah, so we'll just cheer on the Cougars as they take on a tough Opelika Bulldog team. And we're playing on Thursday in Handley. So I know what you're saying. I don't even know where Hanley is, Mr. Giles. Well, guess what? I don't either. I know it's over there somewhere in Chambers County. At least I think it is. But wherever it is, good luck to the Cougars, and we hope that they take care of business. Toys for Tots. Guys, we need to wrap this up. I want you to bring your toy in. I am so not happy with the bins. I, everybody wants to be a part of helping to make sure that every child has a toy to open on Christmas. I think it's important. And we're a very charitable school, so get mom or dad or somebody to carry you to the store and get one new and unwrapped toy and put it in the Toys for Tots bin, which is right in front of the cafeteria. And everybody will be grateful and the better for it. And on Friday, we have our seventh grade parent luncheon, a Christmas luncheon on Friday. It's at 1045, and the cost for, uh, for your visitors are $4. We're sending the forms home today. You should have already gotten your forms, seventh graders. Get them back by Wednesday with the prepaid money, and we will have a really nice Christmas dinner on Friday. And for the eighth graders, man, you guys just left out, right? Not at all. You guys get your parent luncheon on Valentine's Day. So there you go. I'm looking at the schedule, teachers, and I see just spirit days all across the calendar from now to when we get out of here next Wednesday. Spirit days every day. Feel free to wear your jeans with a long cane shirt and let you know how much we appreciate you and all that you do. Uh, we have on Wednesday, the junior ROTC group will be down here from Troop High in the 8th grade talking to students. 8th graders, if you're interested in something pretty cool to be involved in in high school, go over there and talk to them, see what it's all about. Maybe you can join junior ROTC. I see a junior beta club meeting on Wednesday and I see Kia field trips for the eighth grade Keystone classes Monday, excuse me, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Good luck to the wrestlers. They head is as we take on uh, Callaway and Mount Zion here on Thursday. It's a great opportunity to stay and watch some wrestling guys. And on Friday is Troop High High Five Fridays. 
We'll have students from Troop High over here high-fiving everybody just to let all our students know how much they love us and they're thinking about us and want us to get ready to come and be Tigers whenever you get to that level. All right, guys, we're on, uh, we have eight more days, counting today until Christmas holidays, but who's counting, right? Hmm. All right, see so what birthdays we've had. Birthdays all over the weekend include Michaela Burnett, Everin Tartar, Lauren Webb, Oop. and Matthew Watley. Today's birthday include Donovan Burke, Maximus Hurston, and Kylie Ward. Happy birthday to all of you. Hope it's your best birthday yet. Menu today, I don't have a menu, so I can't tell you what we're going to have, but I bet you it's going to be good. Mm -mm. Today is Monday. It is December the 11th. We are on an A-week calendar rotation. Let's all have a magnificent Monday.